Today is May 23rd. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, Come, Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from Psalm 99. The Lord reigns. Let the nations tremble. He sits enthroned between the cherubim. Let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion. He is exalted over all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The king is mighty. He loves justice. You have established equity. In Jacob, you have done what is just and right. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his statutes and the decrees he gave them. Lord our God, you answered them. You were to Israel a forgiving God, though you punished their misdeeds. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. For the Lord our God is holy. This psalm centers us on the holiness of God. Holiness is a characteristic that only comes from God. We tend to think of holiness in terms of morality, but it really means something much more than that. It means otherness, distinctiveness, separateness. It's a word that points to the absolute otherness of God from anything that is not God. Our culture doesn't give us much room for that which is holy. So much of Our Christian thinking focuses on the closeness of God through Christ rather than his holiness. How does the language of holiness make you feel? As you listen again, consider this. What would it take to compel our totally holy, totally other, totally exalted God, a heavenly king? What would it take for that perfect God to descend into the mud and the mess of this world, to put on flesh? to experience limitations, to take on the nature of a servant. The Lord reigns. Let the nations tremble. 
He sits enthroned between the cherubim. Let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion. He is exalted over all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The King is mighty. He loves justice. You have established equity. In Jacob, you have done what is just and right. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his statutes and the decrees he gave them. Lord our God, you answered them. You were to Israel a forgiving God, though you punished their misdeeds. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Scripture tells us that while we were still sinners, God made a way to stay in proximity to us. This holy God found a way to come close. As we end our time of prayer, reflect on God's love for you and try to become aware of his nearness to you right now. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This is a thin place This is where you meet with us This is sacred space and This is where you meet with us and This is a thin place This is where you meet with us This is sacred space This is where you meet with us And holy ground We are standing on
is where you 